How did you sleep last night? Was your mattress a little bit lumpy? Can you feel the springs coming through? Has it gone a little bit knobbly? Were you tossing and turning from one side to the other and waking up at uh, half hourly increments until the alarm went off at 7 o'clock this morning? Or were you floating on an oasis of memory foam? I was. Um, memory phone is one of those things that have absolutely taken the whole country by storm. Um, only developed quite recently, actually, for sleep. Now, this memory phone, when you first see it, you think, well, that's not very thick. It's actually the optimum thickness. If you're investing in a whole mattress of memory foam, well, now that's for the double size, and we've got FlexiPay available. You can split that cost in half, and you've got a money-back guarantee from Ideal World. So try it. Sleep on it. Sleep on it for 13 days. You've got a 14-day money-back guarantee. And if you don't get on with it, you just generally well send it back to us. If One thing to say, if you feel that you don't like the novels, you can also turn it over and sleep on the other side. It has exactly the same effect. We've We've got all sizes available for you this morning, so the king's all day as well as all night. Now, when we put something to the test, we put it to the test. So we took a piece of memory foam outside in the car park and we ran over it. Not run over it, we ran over it with a 10 ton that your memory foam is really withstanding. This is going to last you for donkey's years. Don't get it mixed up with that, you know, that blue foam, crafting foam. Don't go and buy a big lump of that, which would cost you more than this anyway, because the holes in it are so much bigger, which means that they can crush and they can flatten a lot quicker. The bubbles in this are tiny, 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 so you can't even see them. And, you know, interest. And it's double-sided, if you like, because you can see from the end there, it's higher at one side than it is on the other. So if you prefer a firm pillow or a higher pillow, you sleep that way around. And if you prefer it a little flatter, then you sleep that way around. One thing I must say is that both with the memory phone and with the pillow, you may take a few nights to get used to it because it's a different way of sleeping. So if you find for the first night that you wake up or you're conscious or if it You've got yourself sorted out. Maybe you're thinking about giftware or an elderly member of your family. What about the kids? The kids we tend to, because I've done it myself before in the past, they can have the mattress out the spare bed. We'll replace that. They can have our old mattress. Well, maybe it's an affordable way of recycling mattresses. But if it's a mattress that's old, aging, springs coming through, why not give them a little bit of support as well? You know, think about it logically. Kids have got growing bones and they'll carry on growing until they're 16 or 18 years old. So important to have that support, important so they feel as though they're floating, important that they get a good night's sleep. Then they might be a little bit better to rouse in the morning. It might be a little bit better at school or at college to, to concentrate more when they have that good night's sleep. Might want to go to bed a little bit earlier, you never know your luck, than if they've got an uncomfortable bed as well. Oh, we've got the covers in the show for you as well actually these are a, a velour cover we've got the one over the single here at the moment and I ideal for the cover you don't know they're all sleeping oh you've taken the cushions off the sofa and put them on the floor and then they move in the night and they end up sleeping at a v-shape with the bottom seat in the floor have a piece of memory foam rolled up underneath the stairs or underneath the bed and use this as a camp bed i wouldn't recommend that you do that all the time but remember you're sleeping on the op optimum thickness so even on a hard floor and certainly on a carpet you're not going to feel the floor underneath so it's a great way of utilizing your memory foam or if you're camping if you're sleeping on a camp bed then it's a lot more comfortable to put a bit of memory foam over the top. So the covers, we've got all sizes available for a static caravan. And my bed was smaller than a normal single and the bottom corner was cut off because that's where the wardrobe was. It's kind of sleep like that. But the mattress would have been specially made to fit around there at great expense, I would imagine. But if that's the case with you, if you're, maybe you're on, a, you're on a boat, or you're on the yacht, or you do have a caravan, or you are going away somewhere and you know that the bed's going to be an odd size and you want to take it with you, apartment, and on lots of other shopping channels and infomercial channels as well. The reason is everywhere, and it's so popular, is because it works. It works in the way of supporting, filling in the gaps on your body. It's a very, very fine denier of foam. It's, it feels quite solid. It's almost like a stress ball when you get it home. The bubbles in the foam are really tiny. What about the spare bed? Maybe you have twin beds if you've got a guest house um, or even the sofa bed or the futon or the bunk bed or the captain's bed or beds of irregular sizes because remember you can cut these down this will be um, three feet across if you've got a two foot six bed which is every captain's bed or or bunk bed then you can actually cut these down and make them fit but do make sure you're going to keep it before you cut it because we're not having it back if you cut it again that doesn't validate your warranty but you can cut to fit size perfectly um, I and mean, how do your kids sleep at the moment we don't tend to pay 
very much thought they sleep anywhere, don't they? Drop asleep on the sofa, on the floor. It's not their sleep, it's the quality of the sleep that they're investing in. So it's something that if you get a better night's sleep, you can concentrate better the next day. If you get a better night's sleep, you'll probably find that you don't need as much sleep. you probably find that you don't wake up on the, if anything, it's more important because they're still growing. If you've got um, a very, if you've got an old mattress, remember the cot mattress. How old were they when they came out of cots? Two years old, maybe two and a half years. Was there a little indentation in the mattress? Because cot mattresses are normally quite cheap, aren't they? Or they can be a solid block of foam even. They're not sprung mattresses, are they? But you can have this little cocoon where they used to lie. So if that's what's going to happen to your mattress, that's fine when they're two and a half, three years old, but by the time they're 15, there's still that little cocoon. It, it doesn't give support. That's not the way that a mattress is supposed to work. This is the way that a mattress should work, making your mattress work properly, giving you support when you think about it. Of course, everybody needs support when you're going to sleep to get that better night's sleep. So why should your kids be any different to, to you or your parents or even your grandparents? And in fact, more so, you do tend to relegate the mattress on the kid's bed as the old one from the spare bedroom, or you don't spend very much because you don't expect it to last for very many years. Maybe you've just redecorated your son or daughter's bedroom and you've got a new bed, but they're going to be leaving home in five or six years. Of the member firm mattress topper is the double, and that's just £64.99, half of that if you pay by FlexiPay. And of course, you can order that way if you're new to Idea World, if you're a regular customer, if you've only ordered from us once, and you can order.